Okay, this right here is the Ruckman Reference Bible. And I got this in 2010, right after I first got saved. And it was just awesome for me to get this right after getting saved. But I used this from about 2010 until 2015. And I wasn't so much into taking notes like I am now in this Bible. Plus, there's not as much room here. But, of course, they have the the wide-margin Ruckman Reference Bible now. But I, I I use this thing a lot. This is the one I carried to church. And, like I said, I did take notes in this Bible. Some, you, there's just not, it wasn't as much room in this one as there is in my Common Man's Reference Bible. But, but the uh, notes in this are great. Really well done on the notes. The only thing that... That's kind of seems like it's lacking is I felt like there could be more references in the middle columns here. The Common Man's Reference Bible definitely has it beat in, in that aspect. And while I'm doing, you know, all the verse by verse stuff, I get a lot more help out of the Common Man's Reference Bible. The references in the middle than I do out of this. As you can see, compared to the Common Man's Reference Bible, some of these are, it's just bare in the middle. Whereas I'll show you the Common Man's Reference Bible, a comparison here. I just open it to a random page and you get so many more references. And the thing is, you wouldn't have the Common Man's Reference Bible if it wasn't for Ruckman because, you know, that was Hoffman's greatest influence. So, nothing against Ruckman. But the Common Man's Reference Bible is just better. That's my opinion, though. But this right here, this book of the book of Revelation, this was the first time that this was back in like 2010, end of 2010, when I started to take notes in the Bible. And like I said, I wasn't as as much into it because I didn't really know how to do it as much back then. But this was the first time that I started marking up the Bible and I was listening to a verse by verse of the book of Revelation by a guy named uh, Pastor Robert Hensley. And that's just, that's when I really fell in love with the Bible, was way back in 2010, and I've been studying the Bible ever since then. And I think getting a getting a good Bible that you really like will really help you to, to just get in the Bible and stay in the Bible. But this is a really good Bible. Uh, if, if you can't afford the, the leather, they also have the hardback and the paperback i believe and in the back something the common man's reference bible doesn't have is is all these extra little notes and nuggets here in the back i wouldn't say that i use these a great deal but i mean they're there if you need them just all kinds of different uh, topics and pictures as you know ruckman could draw and things like that he's got all types of illustrations of stuff like the golden candlestick, the table of showbread, the brazen lever there, the floor plan of the tabernacle, overview of the tabernacle. Just all kinds of good information in the back. Even if you hate Ruckman like a lot of people do, there's still a lot of good information in, the, in this reference Bible. This it just goes on and on. See, here's a list of all the different topics that's just in the back of the Bible. This isn't counting the notes. See, the... It's all kinds of different stuff. Keep you busy for hours if you're wanting to study certain things. Yeah, it's a really good Bible. I would recommend it to anybody. Here's where a long time ago I was marking as I read through the Bible. So this is the second edition right here that I'm showing you. He had the first edition, second edition, and now they have that wide margin one. It's a little pricey, a little bit more than the common man's reference Bible. But I definitely recommend it.
does have a massive amount of no information in the notes too. I mean, this is a lot of notes here. And it's pretty thick. <clears throat> this was the uh, cowhide. The letter is cowhide. And it stayed in pretty good shape. I've, I've, I've used it a lot. I've took it to work. I've took it to church for years. It's getting a little bit, bit worn out on the pages there. But yeah, this is the, the Ruckman Reference Bible. And like I say, I like the Common Man's better, but I recommend both. You got some people that prefer this one. Some people prefer the other one. But okay, that'll be that for this one.